This indicator shows that today is an exact copy of 2017 bull run and also predicting this next target. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel from our camper. Yes, we are camping at the moment, short but powerful video. I'm going to share some very important news and look at a few really important charts, keeping it short. I don't have too much time today because, yes, celebrating a little bit holiday as well. But let's quickly jump into the news first to show you what I think is very important for the Bitcoin price. And then after that, look at those charts that will show you where we exactly are and what the target will be of this bull market. Now, let's quickly jump into that news first. Is the first new this is that important news article guys the trading on crypto exchanges fell for the third month straight in june so the combined spot and derivatives volumes on centralized crypto exchanges fell 21.8 percent in june again so the crypto exchanges continue to tussle for the market share now one of the crypto exchanges that is winning market share every single month is by but i will come back to that later so the trading volume fell by 21.8 percent in june guys the third month that we have been falling in this volume guys as you can see here on this uh, chart in march there was an insane volume of nine trillion us dollar combined on all these exchanges centralized exchanges we are now 53 percent down from that level to 4.2 trillion in june so from march till june we have been falling in volume on these centralized exchanges. So that means either people are holding their Bitcoins long term, so they store them on hardware wallets, etc., or they are trading now on these centralized exchanges. We don't know yet, but it's very positive to see that people are being educated and have less volume on these exchanges. But also the liquidity on these exchanges needs to go up again for this bull market to go to higher levels. We need more volume on these exchanges to go up in the price. So it's very interesting to see that at the moment there is a lot of fear, of course, because of the Mount Gox uh, uh, bitcoins that are being distributed. But uh, in my opinion, I showed you in yesterday's video that can't influence the market too much. As you saw, it's just a very small market cap that's going to be distributed now uh, because of that Mount Gox, guys, if you compare it to the complete market cap of Bitcoin. Now, Bybit gained the largest market share at the moment with 4% gaining market share. We can see BitGet growing, Gate.io growing, Crypto.com growing, Maxi Global growing, and we can see other ones, Bitfinex, OKX, Coinbase, Kraken, Digifinex, Upbit, and Binance being the biggest loser. Binance is falling from 40.4% market share now to 31.2% market share a year later. So Binance is not doing that great at the moment. Bybit outperforming. If you want to sign up to Bybit, use my link down below, guys, because that link will give you a special bonus at the moment to sign up to Bybit. Just check it out. If you click my link, you go to the special page, and on that page you can see your bonuses. Or also, you can't see Blowfin on this one. I think next year we will be seeing Blowfin on this chart as well because it's a very fast growing um, exchange and at the moment a special bonus as well. But I will come back to that later, guys. So this is a very important news article that we can see. The overall volume is decreasing, but then combined with the minor capitulation, this could lead to a new target in the Bitcoin price. We will go into the charts to show you that. As I want to keep it short, guys, only two or three charts. Uh, this is the first one. We can see those yellow uh, lines, the vertical lines. These are the halving moments. And after these halving moments, we always see a minor capitulation. And if that minor capitulation happens, that's like a starting signal of that last part of that massive bull market. And this is indicated by that purplish area. You can see there on the first vertical yellow line, after that you can see August 16 post halving, that purple area, that was the minor capitulation. And from that moment we went massively up. The second time over there is in May 2020. That was the halving period. Then we went into that purplish period, that was the 
minor capitulation from that moment we went massively up to 70k at the moment we just saw that halving we saw the halving in april 2024 that purple area now is being built it looks really wide but if we zoom out later in the next couple of years you can see that it also is just a very small band this is the minor capitulation happening at the moment whenever this happens after the halving that is the starting cycle of the next part of the bull market when it happens in the bear market or any else that's a different signal this is just happening after the halving just like in 2016 august just like in may 2020 just like now again in april 2024 after the halving purplish area minor capitulation and this will lead to a very beautiful chart the mvrv z score the indicator that's showing you where we are at the moment this is that chart guys this is the mvrv z support support and cycle tops now look to 2017 first you can see the arrow march 2017 we had three green dots then a purple dot and then we went into that square of that last part of the bull market now look to the bottom where you can see the MVRV Z score. We can see that blue line coming up, retesting the dotted line again going up. Then we can see that purple dot where that blue line goes across that red line, the 2.62 level. And then we come back again to reset that dot, retest the dotted line before we take off and take off all the way up into that cycle top zone, that top zone, that pinkish area with the blue line. Now, compare this now with today. We can see green dots on that dotted line. The blue line touching the red line, the 2.6280 all-time highs level over there. Then from there, we pull back again to that green dot, to that dollar line. From now, we should be taking off all the way up to that cycle top zone, which means the price will move into that last part, that green box. And that green box, the target of that green box is around 200,000 US dollar per Bitcoin if we compare it to the previous cycles. So it's very important to understand this is not the end of the bull market. This is almost an exact copy of 2017. Just check it. Just check that MVRV Z score and the support line and then the cycle tops. We should be in that pinkish area where you can see cycle top zone with that blue line. That would be an indication that the bull market top is in. This will take another 12 months, guys, another 12 months of bullish movements and the price will reflect as well. It will go up to above 100K. This cycle is saying 200K top, uh, but for me, 120 to 160K is a very beautiful region to take profits because you already bought around that area of 16K when I told you to buy, guys. So profit is profit. Nobody ever got poor of taking profits. Before I jump into the next chart, guys, you can see this, the new Will Campaign 2.0 Win Model 3. You can win this beautiful car, the Tesla Model 3, guys. You just need to join the Blowfin campaign by clicking the link down below this video to Blowfin, sign up over there. You get a 15% deposit bonus, 15%. So whatever you deposit, you get 15% bonus. And then when you start to trade, and create trading volume you can win an apple watch you can win a you can win a travel fund of five thousand US dollar you can win a motorbike a kawasaki ninja and you can win a tesla 3 so if you want to win these prizes plus get a 15 percent deposit bonus you need to deposit by using my link you can see in the top it's a detail youtube slash blowfin special special offer the last chart is this one, guys, the Bitcoin realized price. The Bitcoin realized price line, the five month realized uh, price, the short term hold up price, the light blue line is at 65,000 US dollar. We are holding the support line as support. This is very important. This is a monthly chart. Every dot is a month. So this is not zoomed in, this is zoomed out. If you look back into these other bull markets, that light blue line has always been a support sometimes we can dip a little bit below it but then we bounce back above it again we are keeping this line of support during this bull market now as well so if you compare this now with the area in 2017 2017 july where we went sideways around that thousand dollar price holding support on the light blue line dipping a little bit down below it but then after that taking off to 20k we are now exactly in that area. If you would compare it now to 2020, you can compare it to 2020 May area after that halving there, sideways for some time. Every time in the summer, 
a little bit of sideways movement before we propel Bitcoin's price into these new all-time highs around 100k or maybe even to 200k if we need to believe the MVRP Z-score and the target, guys. The inspirational quote for today, guys, is imagination is way more important than knowledge. It's always about imagination. You just need to be able to imagine a better life, imagine a better business, imagine a better whatever it is that you want to have better. If you are able to imagine whatever future goal you have, whatever it is that you want to imagine, that is way more important than all the knowledge that they are teaching you in books. You can bring your kids to school to be brainwashed into memorizing books like every monkey can memorize a book. What do they learn because of that? They only learn to memorize. They should be learning to think freely and to be able to imagine whatever is possible in life. Imagination is way more important than knowledge. It will bring you way further because then you will be able to think big. And when you're able to think big, you're able to grow big. When you're boxed in and memorizing books or history, all that stuff that you won't be needing to become successful, then you will not be able to think freely. So imagination is way more important than knowledge. Imagination will make it able for you to think and grow big. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave, and leave a comment. What do you think about the chart? What do you think about our beautiful camper van? It's not big. It's not big at all. Just a small one, but we are happy camping over here, guys. Thanks for watching. Wish you an amazing day, and see you tomorrow again. Bam.